Hey guys, it's uh, Dirty Doc 77 right here. Uh, this is my first upload, my first video that I've ever recorded of my gaming. So the main purpose of this video is to show that the pinwheel method works. Uh, I used to play like sporadically, you know, running a gun in, doing doing whatever I needed to. Now uh, I'm doing the pinwheel method here. Uh, it's not obvious because of the gas, but obviously it's clear to my left because the area is restricted. And then you'll see how it goes. If you haven't watched any other videos about the pinwheel method, basically what you do is you stay ahead of the gas cloud. It clears on either your right or left, whichever way you're going, counterwise or clockwise, counterclockwise. But, yeah, so I know the area behind me is cleared. And I'm an idiot here because I started firing too early. Which is one of the things that this dude, Iceman Isaac, talks about not doing. He didn't know I was there. I had dead silence on, and I could have had him dead to rights, but I made a mistake. Alright, so, I know he's still in the building. I haven't heard him leave. Haven't heard a thump, haven't heard any glass break yet. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just kind of like pieing the corners, making sure it's clear, staying low, staying quiet, you know. Uh, in case y'all didn't know, I'm active duty army. I'm actually uh, 68 Whiskey, which is just a regular army medic. But, um... So yeah, I'm being really quiet here in this video. Just uh now I heard the glass break so I know he's he's up there. I think you hear his footsteps here in a second. Yeah, there he goes. So what I'm a, I'm about to attempt to do is go up these stairs, which I shouldn't. Because you saw what happened, he almost got me. I took out a little bit of his armor with that grenade launcher. His flash grenade completely missed. I don't think he saw that. So early in the game, I definitely like to have an RPG. I didn't find one earlier. Uh, at the very beginning of the game, you weren't able to see it because I started recording late. But as soon as I dropped in, some dude dropped behind me and started trying to kill me. He didn't know that my headshot game was that good, so, you know, he's probably in the gulag right now. This dude had the trophy shield on him. Disabled his vehicle, got him a little bit. I'm changing vantage points right here because another one of the things that this dude Isaacs talks about is to not, you know, stay in the same spot because then somebody, if they got a sniper, they're already like peeking that area. And then you'll see him here in a little bit. He runs off into the distance. I end up getting him a lot later in the game. And the only reason I know it's him is because, you know, obviously when he gets in one of those vehicles, it, like, does his paint job to it. So, he's going for the loadout. And I need my loadout, too. In my loadout that I had for this game, I have a sniper. And I don't actually think... I took anybody out with the sniper in this game. Which is kind of sad because I'm relatively good at sniping. And you'll see right here. Let me see if he's still at the loadout. 
and I end up I end up hitting this window because I thought the glass was still in there. <laughs> I'm an idiot, but it's not. So yeah. I just uh want I want to get two points two main points across in this video. The pinwheel method works and use your cover and concealment. So I saw these dudes, you see this all this terrain to my right that I'm not doing the pinwheel right. But here's the thing is where I'm at that terrain that gas is moving pretty quickly. So Anybody coming out of the gas is pretty focused on just getting out of the gas. Unless you're another dude doing the pinwheel method. And the reason I went this way is because I saw those two vehicles. And I just wanted to make sure that they weren't going to try to come back at me with the, the vehicles. Now, I... I don't use it in this game, but one of the attachments that I have on my Ram 7 is the little noob tube. And one of the things that I find that extremely useful for is if, like, you got a group of dudes, uh, you know, if you're playing duos or whatever, camping out in a building, you can shoot those grenade things in there with the noob tube. And 9 out of 10 times, I either kill them, well, that's like... 5 out of 10 times I kill them, and then the other time at least I take out their armor. I thought I heard somebody here, but it, was, it wasn't it was anybody. I'm moving a little quickly here, and I'm not clearing off to my right really effectively. But it's also like a sheer drop, you see these cliffs. So unless somebody is Spider-Man in this game, they're probably not going to be getting through those cliffs on my right side. Alright, taking a quick pick at the buildings, making sure nobody's there. And like a, another thing about the pinwheel method, I don't know, but one of the greatest things about it is that you know it's cleared behind you. So I find it super effective because uh, I have a lot of good games every once in a while. Well, I have a lot of good games. I have more good games than bad games. But there are those crappy times when you get caught up in the, you know, in the haze. Like, literally, the mist is, like, going 50 miles an hour. And there's no way you can outrun it unless you, you know, you're carrying pistols. And you have the tactical sprint perk. I'm looking at my right side. I see the buildings and the fences that I'm going to have to get through. That gas is moving pretty quickly, so I decide to go through this building. I could have just gone through the door, but uh, I just didn't get want to. I didn't want to get caught up in the gas, especially not having a mask. I thought somebody was up on a tower or something, that's why I looked up, but... Also, it was at this point in the game that I realized I didn't have Ghost in here. But I like having that overkill perk, you know, just because you get you get two good guns. I can't do that much with a pistol like mid-range. Close range, no problem. So, I see the dude's car... I know he sees me because I don't have ghost. I picked him up. Heartbeat sensor, so he doesn't have cold blooded. That's one of the things I like about the Ram 7 is how quickly it delivers those rounds. But uh, one, another one of the things I wanted to talk about was that if I take somebody down like that and I'm like really injured, one of the main things that I try to do is get behind something or get into a building so I can refit my plates enemy and then I UAV move from there overhead. all these enemy UAVs I don't have ghost uh, I think I'm about to come up on a dude no not yet but yeah 
Sometimes you really end up regretting not having ghost, but the perks of having like a good gun. I mean, you can't beat that because I'm sure y'all know and plenty of people know you can have ghost on and still get marked in this game. <laughs> So I'm just like scoping out the terrain here, seeing which way I can go, uh, you know, hoping to find a route that has like a good amount of cover and concealment in case I get into a fight. And I, I think I saw, like, I thought I saw the dude in that tower up there, and I suspected it, but I didn't want to like put my scope up and give my position away. And he doesn't see me, so he's obviously focused on something else. I don't know if you saw me pull the map up earlier, but one of the biggest things about doing the pinwheel is finding the side of the gas circle that's the narrowest, because this is where the gas moves really slow. So you see this dude. This dude is so focused on whatever's ahead of him, he's like not paying attention around him. And one of the things when you're moving on the narrow side is you don't have to sprint the whole time. So you're not giving away your position. I picked this dude up on there. That was probably not his UAV because he had no idea I was there. And I only got seven kills in this game. And two of them weren't recorded. But uh, I think the reason that they didn't record is because PlayStation has a thing where it can only record a video for 15 minutes. Either that or I don't have the knowledge. Like I said, I just started to hook up the settings to where it can um, record longer. And so... When I come up on here, like I said, you're always scoping the terrain out, trying to figure out which is the safest way for you to move. And I end up coming up here and being like, oh, that's a little too open for me, so I turn around and go the other way. The pro. New safe zone located. And sometimes you got to do that when the pinwheel. It's not like, you know, solidified in concrete. You're not doing counterclockwise the whole time or clockwise. You can switch it up in however manner you need to do it. Like I said, I'm moving this way because I got more cover, more areas to hide behind in case I find somebody. And I'm pretty sure up here is where I find somebody. And this is what I'm saying when when you're doing the pinwheel method. These people are getting pushed by the gas. So 90% of them are focused on staying out of the gas and looking at what's 100% in front of them. And this is, uh, this is pretty good proof of that right here. Alright, so I'm right here. Oh yeah. I didn't see, I just saw the score streak. He had some sort of score streak right there. Should have picked that up. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'll just, like I said, this game, I didn't get a lot of kills because I was like really focused on like doing that pinwheel rotation. But you can see it on my right hand when you're in the narrow part, like the narrow margin of where it's closing in. It moves super slow. So when you stay on this side of it, you're not like super worried about, you know, getting ate up by the gas. 
Oh, okay. This is, uh, there was a break. This is where that video broke up because of the PlayStation recording thing. And there was actually a dude getting his loadout that I took down. Right here, I'm really worried about somebody behind me because there could be somebody up on that high ground. But I kind of just shook it off. I know I keep pulling up the heartbeat sensor, and that's one of the things that Isaac doesn't like you doing unless you're behind cover or something. But I didn't have anything else at this point. And I didn't pick up that score streak that could have been a UAV. So that's on me. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. Find See that truck? Stay sharp. I'm like, you know what? That's none of my business because I don't want to get involved with the truck. I don't have a rocket launcher right now. I see that dude did. I try to get a shot on him. Too late. I shot too late. I don't know why I pulled the heartbeat sensor out right there because I can see right in front of me. So I know this doesn't look very tactical because I'm behind a fence, but there's been a couple games where I'll sit behind a fence like this, just using it as a little bit of concealment, and somebody will try to snipe me and I'll hit the fence and not me. So it's more useful than it looks. Not going to say, you know, at your game on sitting behind a fence. <laughs> Alright, and uh, here comes the part in the game where I can like really like show the importance of using just a little bit of concealment. To, like not get mowed down. I saw a dude get taken down there. There's three now. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Just making sure there's nobody to my left. You know, people like to rotate too. I always like to switch up to the Ram 7 once I get into like a little bit more close combat situation. Unless a dude is just like trying to snipe somebody and doesn't. Alright, so here. I'm behind a little bush and maybe getting a little bit of like hard cover from the rock. Got healed up, put my plates in. But he's obviously got cold blooded because I can't pick him up. Alright, so I'm staying behind this covering concealment. Now it's one versus one. Hit him a little bit. Make sure those mags are full. Alright, now here. I know he's still back there, so I pulled out my sniper. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. I thought I was going to get a headshot. Still got his armor though, so he's running. Losing ground. Alright. I probably should have reloaded here just because I only had one in my sniper. But I switched up to the Ram 7. Broke his armor again. He's going to try to throw a satchel at me here. Blows it up a little prematurely. And I got him. And that's it. Alright. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe if you would like to see anything else. And a huge shout out to Iceman Isaac for the pinwheel tutorial. It really works. Super awesome video. Not mine, his. So... Y'all have a good day.
and uh, try the pinwheel out method for yourself.